Okay, so I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Celestron actually came out with a new software that uh, allows you to do like your alignment from the software. It's kind of, I think there's been software that's been like this before and all that stuff. This one, on the other hand, uh, when you see it, you might actually uh, like what it has. So anyways, you need to have a computerized telescope um, by Celestron, and I don't think it works with any of the other telescope manufacturers other than Celestron. But uh, I'm gonna take you take you guys to have a look at it. Real quick though, what I want to mention is is um, for like the um, I don't have some of these things, so I can't really for sure tell you this. But it does have an option for like the uh, Star Sense Auto Align and also um, some other things. Um, but real quick, let me run you through some of the stuff that I have that is allowing me to use this. So the first thing that uh, um, this is for different types. So for the uh, Celestron Nexstar 5 SE and, and some of the other um, go-to uh, telescopes by Celestron, um, they actually have the uh, the port that's on the controller. Some of them might actually have like an aux port on like the base and stuff. But uh, this one though, I'm actually using the controller and a serial uh, cable that, that goes in the back of the controller there. Um, there's also, you also have one that's up here called the aux port, and that'll allow you to plug in, um, like a serial plug and all that. Now there's also apparently the new stuff for like, uh, USB. This is like a, um, the hand controller. So if you have it connected to the hand controller, you would use that option, and I'll show you what I mean. And, um, if you have a USB, I think there's like a, maybe like a USB on some of the newer Celestron telescopes, maybe, or something like that. But anyways, let me take you over here to... To the laptop. Anyways, this is the uh, the serial cable um, that plugs into the serial type cable like this that runs all the way to the uh, the controller. It's all right. Let me sit in my chair real quick. All right. So there's a little bit of a glare, but anyways, this is the the uh, slew thing up here at the top that's to allow you to slew um, and as well as the speed. So currently I'm looking at the moon, um, but let me minimize this real quick. So the software is called CPWI, and I don't have a clue what it stands for, but if I figure out what it stands for, um, I'll put it in the, in the description and all that. So real quick, you have these menus down here. One is the connect, and then you have like your options. If you can show that real quick. So there's a USB via hand controller via Wi-Fi, and uh, these are some of the options that you have for doing like your alignment and this over here is like to find your target and the slew and the stop and disable tracking and then some of these are like some of the stars and all that stuff um, that you can use real quick though let me disconnect from this uh, 5SE real quick and this is what it shows now so you would pick from either USB or hand controller. So if you're connecting your telescope to your laptop via the hand controller through a serial port, you'll want to use that option. I don't have any th any of the other telescope stuff, so this, some of the stuff I don't know. Um, but anyways, you'll connect. You want to connect your telescope to your laptop, and then connect to it. And then this is going to have like your latitude and all that stuff in the time. It's already all programmed in. You have your option to do like your manual alignment, use the star sense and all that stuff. Uh, some of these features they may change though. Um, you can change your location all that and change the time. And uh, so what I want to do is I want to do a manual align. So begin align using the, the uh, pop this back up real quick, using the manual align. Um, it's different for like the different telescopes and all that. I just got an error up there because I took too long to actually put the settings in and all that. So, reconnect real quick. And we're gonna perform alignment. Yeah, pick the alignment option. So we're gonna go down here to begin align. Now, here's your information here. In order to begin the alignment with all azimuth mount, please point your telescope towards the northern horizon. It doesn't, have to be, it doesn't need to be exact, so what you need to do is basically point your telescope north. And to do that, you can actually use this uh, option here, this little uh, menu. 
and it's going to go ahead and move my telescope to the north. See that? And this is all going from this software here. You should probably be able to see that I have my mouse on that. So I'm going to sue this to the north. Put that back into focus. It's almost to the north. Pretty close. Alright, now I'm going to bring the telescope down. So I'm going to go ahead and use this arrow down here. And what I want to do is I want to get those aligned, those index markers, which is my uh, silver marking there. So that's pretty close. Alright, you can adjust your slew rate uh, using the rate buttons here left and right. And that will control like your um, your slew rate so you don't slew too fast or too slow. So now that that's completed, I have a pace facing to the north or, or to the north horizon. I'm gonna click complete. Now here, I have to pick pick what I wanna uh, use to um, to align with. So I have all these options that I can choose right now that are currently up in the sky. And what I'm gonna use is the moon. And we're gonna go to the moon. It's pretty amazing too because I haven't really done an alignment or anything. But what's gonna happen is the telescope is gonna slew to where the moon is. And the moon is actually up there, so let me see if I can get the telescope on this real quick. Alright, so there's, that's where the moon is, right? You guys can see that up there. And I've done no alignment or anything. So that's, that's uh, where it's pointing at, to the moon. Now I have my ASI 120MC-S on, but I think if we go up here to the finder scope, see how the moon is within the finder scope there? Um, it's going to be a bit off because um, the I need you need to use an eyepiece when you do this, otherwise um, you're not going to be able to get the alignment just right. But uh, let me minimize this window real quick. And we'll pull up, um, there it is. So, you can actually see that uh, if I move this scope uh, in the right direction, which is going to need the slew, the slew uh, part, I think I'm actually going to need to go the other direction. We're currently running out of time on this video too. Let's see if I can get this right. So it's a little bit off, but you need it. It's basically just like doing your your alignment part for your telescope. Um, once you do all that, uh, hopefully, if you you're, did your alignment correct with the software, it should take you straight to what you're looking at. Um, but being how you need to use your eyepiece and not use <laughs> the camera, um, you might want to use like your finder scope or something like that. Um, but the object is not on the screen. And that's because I need to go to the telescope and remove the camera from the telescope and then plug the eyepiece in or insert the eyepiece and then use the finder scope to center the moon into the finder scope and then or center the moon into the uh, eyepiece. It's the same thing with like your stars and all that. You would pick like whatever star you're going to use to align with and go from there. Um, I don't really have my... my um, Obviously, I don't have my AVX set up, sadly, so I really can't use my AVX to show you some of the other features. But I wanted to like show you guys this uh, software that Celestron made, um, and you guys might want to check it out and see if you like it or not. It's called uh, CPWI, and you can get it from the website called software.celestron.com, and then it's the um, and it's installers and um, CPWI. I'll put it in the description below so you guys can just go straight to the link. It's on the Celestron website. If you guys have any questions for me about this software, I'll do my best to answer them and to the best of my knowledge and all that stuff. I do apologize if there's something you wanted to see that I didn't uh, show you. But there's a lot of settings to this camera. Anyways, that's where I got to end the video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you like to and clear skies.